Γεια σας! This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greece has unfortunately become the European champion of appeals and penalties for their infringement of the community's legislation. According to official information by the EU in 2010, Greece was brought to the European Court more than any other member and had the most penalties. Last year, Greece was brought to the European Court for legislation infringement on 14 cases and was followed by Belgium, Portugal and Austria. As far as penalties are concerned, in 2010, Greece was in third position after Spain and Italy. Statistics present a similar situation for the past five years. From 2006 to 2010, Greece was brought to justice for 96 cases of legislation infringement, again in the first position. During the same period, the European Court approved 53 appeals against Greece. Italy followed with 87 appeals. As we all know, the Greek economy may have been severely hit by the crisis, but there are still some good places to work in Greece. Recently, the Great Place to Work Institute Elas announced the 20 Greek companies with the best working environment. The Best Workplaces 2011 survey aimed to highlight companies that despite the difficult social and financial situation of Greece, took the important decision to invest in staff and to assess the practices used in their working environment. Companies are divided in two categories, depending on the number of employees. Two of the best companies to work for are the Athenian Brewery, which is in for the over 250 employee category, and Xerox Elas in the under 250 employee category. And now some very interesting news from the USA. On Saturday, April 9th, 2011, the American Hellenic Council of Southern California, a political organization which promotes Greek-American interests, hosted its 36th annual Honors Dinner Dance at the Omni Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. Each year, AHC celebrates the achievements of dedicated polit political and community leaders who have made major contributions to Hellenic causes. This year, with well-known actor John Aniston as the event's MC, the Council recognized the accomplishments of four honorees. Linda Katehi, Eftichios Vlahakis, Georgios Anagnostopoulos, and Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leniten. In addition to these distinguished individuals, many other dignitaries and high-profile community members were in attendance, including Consul General of Greece, Ms. Elisabeth Fotiadou, Consul General of Cyprus, Mr. Andreas Kiprianidis, and AHC co-founder and board member, Aris Anagnos. U.S. pharmaceutical giant Johnson Johnson will have to pay a fine of $70 million dollars after admitting that the company and its subsidiaries bribed doctors and hospital administrators in Greece, Poland and Romania to push their products to patients. This is what the Securities and Exchange Commission and Department of Justice stated in filings at the U.S. District Court in Washington. Johnson Johnson, based in New Brunswick, New Jersey, used slash funds, sham contracts and offshore companies in the Isle of Man to carry out the bribery. In addition, the company paid kickbacks in Iraq to win contracts and sell drugs and artificial joints. Public health system doctors and administrators who ordered Johnson Johnson products, such as artificial knees and hips, or prescribe the company's drugs were rewarded in a variety of ways including cash and travel benefits. Moving on to Hollywood now. Last week, American Idol reached into its archives and brought back season's four contestant Konstantin Maroulis as part of its 10th season celebration. Maroulis performed a cover of the Righteous Brothers' Unchained Melody. Although he is a strong vocalist, Maroulis' best skills lie in his ability to capture the camera and charm the ladies. On another note, unfortunately, Maroulis did not get cast as Drew in the upcoming film Rock of Ages, although he was the lead actor in the play on which the movie is based. The film's director, Adam Shankman, stated that Konstantin Maroulis was 
perfection as during the play, but the truth of the matter is that I cast at age and I wanted someone who doesn't have to act 20 or 23, but actually is 20 or 23. Maroulis is 35 years old. The authenticity of someone actually being that age is important. Well, that's what the director said, but he should have given our fellow Greek-American a chance, especially since movie history has proven time and time again that performers can successfully play roles not even close to their real age. Diego Gonzalez Boneta, a 20-year-old Mexican actor, will portray Jew in the movie Rock of Ages. Maroulis was asked to play a smaller part in the movie, but he has not answered yet. Let's see what's going on in Turkey. According to a court's judgment, the Turkish Education Ministry decided to close three Greek schools in Istanbul due to lack of students. Remarkably, it is the first time since the Treaty of Lausanne that a Greek school is banned. Particularly, the director of the private primary school of Tataula in the Sisli district claims that there are not enough students enrolled and future enrollees do not look promising. The other two schools that are banned for the same reason are the Greek primary schools of Arnavutkoi and the Ioakimion Lyceum in Balad district. Meanwhile, a judgment on whether or not the Greek primary schools in Imbros will remain open has not been delivered yet. The representative of minority foundations in Turkey, Lakis Vigas, stated that there have not been enough students at Greek minority schools for 50 years. It is the first time that the Turkish Education Ministry banned their operation. For more news and updates, visit us at GreekReporter.com. Have a wonderful week and remember, Greeks are everywhere!